A bit device is a satellite weapon that is placed above and below a spacecraft. There are several varieties of bits, with the bulk not appearing until R-Type Final. In most configurations, a bit device is a sphere that complacently rotates. It's composed of similar energy as that of a force, though wholly man-made, and shares the nigh invincibility of that unit. A bit device cannot be destroyed by normal means, and damages whatever it touches. The bit conductor mounted on our crafts allow control of these devices. Unlike a force, bit devices cannot be detached from their places unless it's part of an attack. Only two bits can be mounted at once, collected one at a time, though exceptions do exist, and both are always of the same type. A bit's primary function is that of defense, to protect the craft against vital shots and contact by minor enemies. The standard bit seen in most missions can also fire shots if a particular laser crystal is equipped, and sometimes both bits are required. It deals less damage than a force, but still has enough stopping power to give a pilot time to get away from more serious threats. There are nine different types of bit devices throughout R-Type Final 2. The round bit, chimera bit, shadow bit, eyeball bit, Mr. Healy bit, mirror shield bit, psi bit, shield bit, and psi bit plus. Additionally, there are five different types of pod devices in R-Type Final 2. The blue pod, green pod, red pod, yellow pod, and the purple pod. This video will showcase all the various bits and pods in the game, so let's get started. The round bit consists of a force-like interior with a metal shell that slowly revolves around it and was developed to create force energy using human means. Although only partially completed, the unit was equipped with a function to counter the enemy's energy and sent out an R-9. This bit's primary function is to provide physical defense against enemy contact. It annihilates most smaller enemies and ships, but only damaging the larger ones. The bit has no offensive capability, however certain combinations of force and laser crystal, usually red, give it a very minor offensive attack. Be aware that the round bit cannot block projectiles. Only devices like the shield bit and mirror shield bit can block those. The camera bit is a data collection bit for fighters with early warning systems. Its data collection capacity is greater than most fighters and has rarely been used in combat. For those completionists out there, equipping the camera bit is required in order to register indestructible entities in the Bido lab. This camera bit is usually found on recon craft such as the R-9E Midnight Eye. The shadow bit is based on the round bit, and firing capabilities are sacrificed in favor of a constant energy flow that damages enemies on contact. By sharply maneuvering one's fighter through space, the pilot can force the bit to serve as a support weapon. This particular bit acts much like the round bit, except that it lacks any projectile attacks. In addition, it cannot block projectiles, just like the round bit. Only devices like the shield bit or the mirror shield bit can block them. The shadow bit's unique feature is that its trail also has a hitbox, so it's best used in constant motion to damage incoming enemies. The shadow bit is recommended for fighters that don't get additional firepower from the round bit or the eyeball bit, as well as for players who often charge the wave cannon or detach the force because the round bit and the eyeball bit don't shoot in these situations.
The eyeball bit is exclusively used by the B-Series fighters, and it was developed to solve the compatibility problem that arose between fighters from the Biosynthesis project and previous bit devices. This bit device functions nearly identical to the round bit. Its primary function is to provide physical defense against enemy contact. It annihilates most smaller enemies and ships, but only damaging the larger ones. Like the round bit, it gives additional firepower when combined with certain lasers, mostly red. But other than looking like a flying eyeball and functioning similar to the round bit, there are no noteworthy features to it. The Mr. Healy bit is a bit device that normally accompanies the TP-3 Mr. Healy. It was developed to support asteroid survey units and it's able to shoot independently of the charge level. The Mr. Healy bit shoots in the same direction as a fighter's horizontal movement and it should be noted that it cannot block enemy projectiles. The mirror shield bit is a bit with a mirror coating on a normal shield bit. This bit has the same degree of defensive performance against enemy shots as the force. If the enemy fire can be absorbed by the mirror shield bit, it will then be reflected back at the enemy, providing a means of attack. So the mirror shield bit's defense's efficiency is about the same as a force, where it will absorb or eat small shots from enemies, but reflect them back offensively. The side bit is a bit device that originated in R-Type Leo. What's great about this bit device is that collecting a single bit power up for the first time provides both bits at the same time. The side bit can shoot lasers and also has a homing attack where the pursuit time changes depending on the charge volume. So when at least one loop of wave cannon is used, the bit devices will then launch themselves as a homing attack to also impact anything in their way and ignore terrains quickly returning to the ship afterwards. The side bit can fire the same lasers as the Leo Force. If used without any laser crystal upgrade or with any of the three custom ships and not equipped along with the Leo Force, it will fire a standard Vulcan shot in the same way as the ship's basic gun. Additionally, the pilot can change the direction of the device to provide rear firepower and also block certain projectiles like the shield bit does. The shield bit is a support weapon developed to aid fighter defense. Its defensive efficiency is about the same as a force, where it will absorb or eat small shots from enemies, unlike other bit variants such as the round bit and shadow bit. So this bit is all about defense, and its wide body is perfect for providing cover and shielding against attacks. However, this bit is only available to a select number of ships. It's the default bit device of the R-9B series, the TL series, and the R-9USO 800, and it's also available to a very few final models of their series. The Cybit Plus is a bit device exclusively used by the Leo 2. It's an improved version of the Cybit, reinvented from R-Type Leo. Like the basic Cybit, collecting a bit power-up provides both bits at the same time, and it's said to be the strongest bit device of them all. The Cybit Plus can fire the same lasers as the Leo Force DX. If used without any laser crystal upgrade, or with any of the three custom ships, and not equipped along with a Leo Force DX, it will fire a standard Vulcan shot in the same way as the ship's basic gun. Additionally, the pilot can change the direction of the device to provide rear firepower, and the Cybit Plus can also block certain projectiles like the shield bit does. When at least one loop of wave cannon is used, 
the bit devices will launch themselves as a homing attack to also impact anything in their way and ignore terrains, quickly returning to the ship afterwards. The homing attack of the Cybit Plus lasts longer than that of the previous Cybit. Now, according to the in-game description, the Cybit Plus is only rivaled by that of the Green Pod on the OF Gaguaya. The Blue Pod is a test model made during the development of the Red Pod. Normal and pod shots are possible, but the direction cannot be controlled. The blue pod simply fires a pair of bolts forward, and it cannot block enemy projectiles at all. The blue pod can be selected by the, the Dalius, Valkyrie, Garuda, and the Kaguya. For some reason, the OFX-4 Sangoku cannot use the blue pod. The green pod is a weapon created by raising the effectiveness of the red pod. Its superior firepower is equaled only by that of the Cybit Plus. The green pod fires a double shot both forward and backward of the direction the pilot is flying in, but the bit won't adjust immediately to the flight direction. The green pod will also shoot forward when the force button is pushed regardless of whether it's attached or not, and it cannot block enemy projectiles. The green pod is exclusively used by the Kaguya. According to the in-game description of the red pod, by using the cyber connector interface device, the pilot's will is transmitted directly to the bit and missile direction can be controlled. The red pod fires in the direction opposite of the pilot's flight path. Skilled pilots can make minute adjustments to attack hard to hit enemies, and it cannot block enemy projectiles. The Red Pod can be selected by every one of the OF series fighters. The Dalius, Valkyrie, Garuda, Songuku, and the Kaguya. The yellow pod is a test model developed to measure the destructive power of pod shots. It cannot shoot normal shots, but it can cause more pod contact damage than other pods at the cost of no firing ability. Although good at causing contact damage to enemies, it cannot block enemy projectiles. The yellow pod's pod shot visual could be a reference to the somersault cloud of Sun Wukong, also known as Sun Goku in Japanese, from the Chinese novel. A journey to the west. The somersault cloud is a divine artifact that serves as Sun Wukong's flying device and is usually depicted as a yellow cloud. The yellow pod is exclusively used by the Sangoku and the Kaguya and is the signature pod of the Sangoku. According to the in-game description, the purple pod is a weapon born from secret development of a new pod type after the development of the OF series. It has impressive firepower, but is very draining on the pilot, so it was never officially adopted. Thank you for viewing. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, Please like and subscribe to this channel. Again, thank you.